Okay, so our new segment <clears throat> here is Student Spotlight. And for this segment, Lila, my colleague, joins me in welcoming Elena Davis. Elena Davis is the 11 year old owner of STEM powered kits. She felt that the world needed more innovation and problem solving, so she curated a learning toy company to encourage critical thinking and problem solving for the up and coming generation of innovators. Elena, it's uh, wonderful to have you today. Have you, as uh, Leo allowed you to unmute your there you are. Hi, Elena. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. It's so exciting to have you here today. I'm really happy to be here. Good, good. I You listened to the last few minutes of that prior talk, and it sounded like he had done some problem solving as a kid, too, didn't it? It did. Yeah. Good. Well, do you want to get started with your presentation? Yes. All right. Hi, my name is Elena. I'm 11 years old and I'm the owner of STEM Powered Kits. Today I'll be speaking about how the skills my STEM kits develop might benefit someone who wants to design, build, or repair moon rovers, rockets, and even satellites. First, I want to tell you how my company came about. It all started from a science project I had to do for my fifth grade class. This particular assignment, we were going over electric circuits. Most of my classmates do diagrams and wrote essays, but I wanted to be different, so I decided to film myself putting one together. Before I turned it in, I gave it to my mom to look over. She thought that I looked like a natural and very knowledgeable on camera, explaining how everything worked. For years, I watched my mom build and grow businesses and wanted one of my own. She told me if I found something that I truly loved, then she would help me to start and grow my business. I brought the idea of STEM kits to her. She loved it and STEM powered kits was born. I feel that the world needs more innovation and problem solving. Now more than ever, my personal mission is to continually grow and share my learning experiences with others while inspiring the future of innovators and making STEM fun. My STEM kits help to support and encourage critical thinking, problem solving, and so many other STEM concepts and life skills. One STEM kit at a time, my goal is to inspire the next set of innovators by fostering creative confidence and encouraging kids to think big. Let's dive into how my STEM kits can benefit someone who wants to design and build moon rovers, rockets, and satellites. Beginning more than 2,000 years ago, rockets evolved from toys into complex machines capable of amazing flights. Rockets are still the only means to travel to and through space. Whether flying a small model rocket or launching a giant cargo rocket to Mars, the principles of how rockets work are still exactly the same. Understanding and applying these principles means mission success. With my balloon powered car, students can investigate Newton's third power law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Concepts explored in this kit includes change, constancy, measurement, motions and forces, geometry, data analysis, reasoning, and proof. The balloon car is an excellent demonstration of Newton's third law of motion. Air is compressed inside a balloon that is expanded when the nozzle is released. The balloon returns to its original unflattened size by propelling the air out of its nozzle. The straw mount into the balloon extends the nozzle beyond the rear end of the car. The action force of the expelling air produces a reaction force that pushes the eraser in the opposite direction. Eraser's wheels reduce friction with the floor and the eraser takes off. Hmm. 
Now let's dive into solar power. Spacecrafts that orbit Earth called satellites are close enough to the sun that they can often use solar power. These spacecrafts have solar panels which convert the sun's energy into, electric, into electricity that powers spacecrafts. Our solar power car is a simple yet dynamic design run by this power of the sun. You can assemble it and it races. Solar power is the power of the future. This kid teaches kids how they can convert sunlight into mechanical energy. This is a great introductory to challenging build plans, troubleshooting, and problem solving in solar power. Concepts explored in this kit are solar energy, circuits, engineering, and gears. Lastly, I'll go over rovers. NASA plans to land astronauts on the moon by the year 2024. The astronauts will need moon rovers to drive across the moon's surface, carry supplies, help build their outposts, and explore the area. Our electric Jeep is similar to moon rovers because it has good traction, very stable, and very powerful. Depending on how you wire the Jeep, it can either move forward or backwards. But building every part of Jeep will inspire a child's imagination and exploration spirit. This STEM kit allows trial and error in the process of assembling an electric Jeep, kids can learn how to problem solve, which builds their confidence to face trouble in the future. You can even change the battery out for a solar battery and power Jeep by the sun. Concepts explored in this kit in, is engineering, electric wiring, gears, and switches and circuits. Our STEM kits help children to feel more confident and capable with science and technology. They develop their STEM identity and technology fluency. By developing a child's love for science and technology, today you will help to ensure they are able to thrive tomorrow. STEM power kits will help them communicate, collaborate, think critically, and become inventors. We believe that creative confidence helps kids think big. Again, thank you for listening. My name is Elena, and I'm the owner and founder of STEM Powered Kits. Elena, tremendous presentation. I love how you took your company story and then you applied it to our topic for today by sharing how your kits help prepare students who might be interested in space. Thank you for all that preparation and an excellent job. Now, you are from Savannah, where our team is today, right? Yes, that's right. Yes. And do you have some good teachers in Savannah? I do. Yeah, good. Well, you know, you may not know it, but a lot of space companies actually have trouble understanding who their customers are. And I wonder if you might give our industry a little bit of advice. It sounds like you've found a good way to connect with your own customers. Can you talk a little bit about how you found customers? Well, it was actually a lot of research to know what customers would want. And I thought since some people don't even know what kids would want, then I thought that I should make something that kids would want that other people don't really know. That's why all these kits I chose were are all here, because I know that some kids would want this. They always they go from elementary all the way to high school. And so you used your own knowledge and interests to decide what your customers would like and some research too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. And um, let's see, we have a question from a colleague named Kevin. Let's see. Um, Leo, can you unmute Kevin? And remember, Elena is 11, Kevin. I think I am unmuted, aren't I? There you go. Yeah. I hear you. I just wanted to thank her for her presentation because <clears throat> while she was presenting, one of um, Foundation for the Future's previous presenters, Greg Autry, was tweeting to Dr. Phil Metzger about the cost of deorbiting the ISS. And then rather than spend the billion dollars, they said, hey, why don't we just push it up to a higher orbit? And while I was listening 
to our latest presenter. And she, I used the words in my tweet back to them saying, what if NASA just used the money as an ion thruster industry impact investment, inspiring and supporting current and next generation ion thruster STEM innovations. So imagine they did that. So I just used her words because she inspired me to write. Inspired, inspiring and supporting current and future. Wow, thank you for bringing that up, uh, Kevin. And Elena, just so you know, some of those names that Kevin just mentioned are people who really know a lot about this industry and our people listen to them. And so the fact that your message has already in a matter of two minutes gotten to those two guys um, is, is really exciting. And you've already made an impact in the space industry. Lila, do you have any questions for Elena? I'm, I'm very impressed, Elena. Your presentation was so well thought out and so well put together. And um, I can tell you have an exceptional head on your shoulders and it sounds like you've got a great support person in your mom. Um, can you tell me before you, before you started uh, your company, what were your, what were your interests um, in school? And um, that's the first question. I also wanted to know if you, um, I also want to know what you want to be when you grow up. That's, that's a second question. I think you're on your way, but I'm, I'm always curious. Well, while I was in school, I always really just look up to going to STEM class or going to computer classes because I always had fun building things and creating random things that I, would, that I like using. And what I want to be is an engineer. There's many engineers. I'm still um, looking into what I want to be. I'm thinking a mechanical engineer would be good. It looks like you've already used a lot of those skills to, to build a lot of these um, different, um, I don't know if you want to call them toys, um, but the different um, you know, learning tools, I guess. How, can you tell me a little bit more about that process and how you, um, you know, how you began to sort of play with these different things? Well, I started looking at these toys and I thought they were really cool and they had a lot to do with STEM. And I thought other kids would like this too. So I wanted to give these to other kids and figure and see what they would think about it. We had like a lot of customer feedback. People really like these kids. That is wonderful. Elena, is there anything else you would like to share with our audience? There's nothing else. Well, it has just been such an 